Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into a new tool. This one is called Plumi or Plume. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but it is a new note taking app. This is uh, one of the ones I haven't seen yet and I have tried it out for a couple of minutes. I've seen a couple of videos and just played around with it and I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, around how it works and what I think about it. So let's start off with um, the basic organization inside of this application. So we have folders, but we also do have tags. So you can add tags and you can add folders as well. And inside of these folders, you can actually add subfolders. Uh, but you can also use tags if that is your preferred way of organizing. Uh, so we have both of those. And the way it works is that you get a note like this one right here. So let's go ahead and try and create a new note. We can do that by pressing the plus. And let's see if it works with markdown. It does. Uh, and let's take a look at the backslash functionality. So we have Kanban boards and the ability to add images and draw cap. I will touch on these things later, but as of right now, let's just take a look uh, around the note taking and how that works. So you can simply just uh, remove the sidebar here and go into a more focused form of writing. This is block based as you can see. So you have these blocks you can drag around let me just test this out and show you how this works. This is something a lot of note-taking apps do have. So you can have different blocks and you can move them around. We have the ability to add to-dos here as well. So go for a walk and take out trash. That's my uh, two to-dos I use for YouTube video. So take out trash. That's what I use in every single YouTube video. So in in here we can see the amount of tasks we have and if I go ahead and complete one you can see that this shows me that it is one remaining and the ring actually gets smaller as well and if I complete both we actually finish the whole ring so that is really cool. We have uh, what's called distraction free mode again a pro feature. Uh, you can change the style of this. Uh, so I can change the style of uh, the style of the writing here. Let's go back to this again. I like that better. Uh, but you have the ability to uh, uh, to change the style. We can go into dark mode or yellow mode. Uh, this is called sepia mode. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it feels like yellow mode. Let's go back to dark mode. Um, you can show folder three right here, uh, or you can remove that and you can remove the show note list as well. And you can tap on show plain text to actually see uh, the plain text uh, before it is formatted. So if you like to use markdown uh, and you like to see your things in plain text, uh, you can. Um, you have the ability to do that as well. Let's just turn these on. Actually, let's turn this one off. Uh, but you have the ability to do a little bit of customization. We can make the font size bigger and we can make the text width bigger as well. And you actually have a lot of customization uh, when it comes to the design of the application, something I like a lot. So if you really want to customize how uh, the font size is and how the text width is and uh, you want to turn off and on focus mode, you can do all of these things. Uh, so focus mode actually just moves it to the center or to the left. I actually like uh, to have it in the center when I'm writing. That's just a personal thing, so I would leave this on. But that is some of the customization you have inside of here. Uh, let's quickly take a look at the pricing plan of this as well. So we have what's called uh, Plumi Pro. Um, 
and we can upgrade to Bloomy Pro and the pricing is actually really good. So uh, you do not have uh, Kanban boards uh, and um, a couple of uh, more things, but mainly the cap, uh, Kanban board and uh, the distraction free mode is the two modes I would like to have in an application like this. And that costs you just two dollars each month or if you want to bill it monthly it costs you four dollars each month for two dollars each month that's 24 dollars which is really really cheap for a note-taking app it says here that it is cross-platform and it is local first as well completely private if you press this it shows them there uh, the privacy policy uh, so completely private and everything is stored locally as well so you can access them i think uh it's said on their roadmap that you would be able uh not right now but in the future to actually pick where things um are stored so in which folders things are stored but the kanban boards which are a premium feature so i can't actually drag things around because it says that a license is required but this uh, is a cool feature so this is a weekly goals or you could do a weekly planning inside of here uh, and what's really cool about this is that you can see the total amount of tasks and if i just go ahead i can't do that but if i could go ahead and uh, just press done here you would see that this changes as i've shown you previously so this actually works for kanban boards as well we can have a little bit of customization here as well so you can show progress bar for every day and you can show column border if that's something you would like but i actually do love the progress bar for every single day really cool feature here is another one this is a project plan and here uh we have another um, Kanban board and again I can do the same here. I really love the progress bars uh, in addition to this progress bar right here. Love it. Uh, so as you can see here as well you have different ways of formatting your notes. So you can also add quotes, numbered list, bullet list to do and all of the headings you would uh, want. Uh, Drop cap is actually a premium feature, so you will have to pay for that. But as I said, the pricing plan on this is really good. I would say that this is a really simple note taker. I would say simple yet powerful. So if you think things like any type and notion just is too much, there is too many uh, too many bells and whistles, and you just want something. A lot simpler this is probably a lot better you have the ability to organize both in notes and in uh, both in folders sorry and tags which is great uh, you have the search bar right here and it has everything you need it is still really really early days so i'm not sure that i would recommend it yet so as of right now it doesn't seem like it has a mobile app you can get it on the mac you can get it on windows it is currently in beta so you have to back up your data um, but it is made by uh, this guy right here which have actually made this note taking app as well and you can see that there are some similarities here um, there are some similarities here and i I think it is a cool looking application. As I said, it is really early stage and I personally would not use a note taking app that does not have a mobile app. But if you want to, you can. And there are uh, ways to work around it. But I personally just, I need to have a mobile app. That's, I spend most of my time uh, outside of my house, away from my computer and it doesn't seem like it has a web version as well uh, so it would be necess necessary with a mobile um, 
application. Uh, but if you think that it is looking like a cool application, it has a generous free plan so you can download it and try it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.